Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am outside because I thought I'd show you some of the um, gardening I'm doing. So this is by no means Better Home and Gardens. This is actually the first year I've actually put some effort into the whole thing. So it is not the best. I'm going to do a lot of edit cuts to cut out all the obnoxious motor cars, the cars that like want to rev their motors whenever they go through the red light here. Um, but I just thought I'd show you, uh, yeah, what I've been up to. So, um, here's our flower bed at the back entrance. So yeah, I just put a couple things. I just, I just put this stuff in. Um, Dahlia does not want to be here. Dahlia, I mean, this one looks okay, but this one is not happy. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway, I'm cleaning up the debris um, in the backyard. So, um, this tire is my son's. He keeps promising me he'll get rid of it, but he hasn't yet. <laughs> anyway, here's my first garden bed. These are all lettuce. So the lettuce is doing really well. And then I have a, a pepper plant and this is a cherry. I got a few uh, cherries coming in. And then this is like a um, slicer tomato plant. Look at that beautiful uh, lettuce. And uh, yeah, I'm weeding, I'm not the best with weeds. Um, we put the marigolds in to keep the bugs away and it's been pretty effective. Um, I have a little uh, pepper growing there. But yeah, these guys keep like a lot of insects off the plants. Um, we usually put them in every flower bed. Here's my green beans which are growing like crazy. Um, they're going to start producing. See, they already are coming in. So they, they're growing so fast. And then this is, this is all mint. So I've got to pick this cause, um, it grows like crazy as well. Nugget, stop chewing on whatever it is you're chewing on. Get out of my garden. Um, yeah, this is all mint. So I already dried a whole huge batch of it. I make a uh, meadow tea, which is just like dried mint and three, three quarter cup sugar and a quart of, um, two quarts, two quarts of water. So this is a mess. This is my strawberry patch, but, um, it's being overtaken by thistles and clematis. So the strawberry season's just about over, but I really, really, really got to weed this. Um, and then up here is my squashes and stuff. So I have, this is a cantaloupe. And then I have, oh, these are my yellow squash. Look at them growing. Oh, they're so big. Look at this guy. Oh, look at him. Yeah, those are my yellow squash. That's a watermelon right there. And then I think this is a... I don't know, uh, zucchini, I think. Nugget, get out of my garden. Get out. You dumb dumb. I think that's a, that might, these might both be zucchini. This is yellow squash. The yellow squash is making me proud. Do you see them all? And then I put a sunflower there. Somebody gave me a sunflower, one of my patients, families, but, uh, it died. <laughs> it died. So, yeah, so those are my gardens. And then I have a side porch. This is like, look how healthy that looks. See, you don't have to be a, a perfect weeder, weeder to get all the weeds off. This was a raised bed that um, the wood rotted out. So if you ever use like a wooden raised bed, you have to um, treat it. 
so um, anyway I'm throwing that out but I replaced it with a metal one so okay so this is um, rosemary oregano sage and because this is such a shallow and it's metal I have to water that thing constantly um, like every day I have to put water in this to make sure I don't know, the, 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 the uh, soil doesn't take the water very well either. It absorbs poorly. So I water that every day. And then um, the cilantro and parsley. I put a couple flowers in here just for show. But this is kind of crissy cross. So this is cilantro and I think I I think I have to cut these I don't know I've been meaning to um, watch a video but I'm pretty sure like I need to cut these tops because they're not like you don't use those for cooking so I'll have to watch a video on how to keep cilantro and parsley this is a parsley here this is a uh, parsley I think I'm getting them confused. So that's cilantro, and then this is parsley. Um, it didn't do so well when I first put it in, but it's kind of bouncing back. And this one's this one's thriving. This one's doing well. So it's nice to come out in the morning and see these. I, I bought this impulsively. <laughs> this little fox glove. So I don't know. Why do you do what you do, Sarah? I have no idea. Same with this exotic uh, petunia. Is it exotic? I think it's a petunia. Anyway, yeah, just giving them a little love. But yeah, it's nice to come out here and just have my little splash of green. So anyway, this is all new. I've not done any of this since last year. So I've been like, I smell like cilantro now. <laughs> But um, I've been trying to do more with the uh, gardening stuff than before, um, which is, it's different because, uh, I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm doing something, um, it makes me feel like I'm doing something feminine, you know, that I'm keeping the house doing something more than just working all the time, which is what I feel like I'm doing half the time. Like the yard is nice, the garden bed's okay. And uh, yeah, it's nice, it's nice. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what I've been up to. I don't always cross stitch <laughs> and I haven't been doing it as much as I usually do in the winter time. I guess that's pretty much to be expected. So, um, I have a project coming up. I got one of those weird ideas in my head to say, if this works, then I could stop doing what I'm doing and just do this full time. Um, which is really kind of what I want to do. I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't want to be a nurse. <laughs> I don't want to go out and see people all the time. And, I mean, I, I don't mind it. It's okay. There's worse jobs in the world, I guarantee you. But um, I just wanted to do something else, something that I can enjoy more. And I came up with this idea that really kind of um, channels into all the things I enjoy. I think my hair is getting a little better. It's less, it's like softer and less thinning. Like it's not falling out as much. So I think the iron is working, but we'll see in a couple months how it looks. Cause you know, that's a long process. So anyway, 
thanks for listening to me ramble. Uh, I'm going to upload this and then I'm going to go work on my secret, top secret, nobody knows about it except all my friends project. <laughs> you will find out about it soon. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.